In Tokyo, the largest international robotics exhibition IREX took place, one of the most significant events in the global automation and robotics industry. The exhibition has been held for the 26th time and traditionally brings together leading developers, engineers, and technology companies from around the world. This year, more than 600 companies from 14 countries took part in IREX, presenting their latest developments and engineering solutions. The exposition included over 3,000 modern booths covering almost all key areas of robotics, from high-precision industrial manipulators and logistics systems to humanoid platforms, service robots, and autonomous companion robots. Special attention was drawn to humanoid robots and robotic dogs equipped with advanced self-learning algorithms, computer vision, and motor control. These systems are already going beyond experimental projects and are increasingly being considered as practical solutions for industry, medicine, services, and everyday life. In this video, we have collected the most promising and technologically advanced developments presented at IREX, robots and systems that reflect the key trends of the industry and show the direction in which robotics will develop in the coming years. Enjoy watching. At the booth of the Chinese company DeepTouch, their ultra-realistic androids were showcased, capable of interacting with people in real time and impressing with lifelike facial expressions and movements. DeepTouch specializes in creating humanoid companion robots with highly natural behavior and appearance, from smooth head movements to realistic responses to touch and voice commands. The DeepTouch androids are designed so that their skin, expressions, and motion mechanisms minimize the uncanny valley effect, where a robot looks almost human but still feels artificial. They are equipped with sensor systems and data processing algorithms that track visitor movements and adapt the robot's responses during interactive communication. The booth featured not just static figures, but dynamic models that can respond to shouts, smile, turn their gaze, and even maintain basic dialogue. Another ultra-realistic humanoid robot was brought by Japanese engineers, presenting the android avatar Yui at IREX. This robot was developed in Japan as part of the android avatar field, focusing not on industrial automation, but on creating the most natural human-machine interaction. Yui stands out primarily for its realistic appearance and facial expressions. The android's face is highly detailed, eye, lip, and head movements look smooth and natural, while gestures and poses closely mimic human behavior. Because of this, Yui is hardly perceived as a traditional robot and more closely resembles a living person, which is especially important for social and demonstration scenarios. At the IREX booth, Yui was showcased as an avatar robot capable of interacting with visitors, responding to prompts, and maintaining dialogue. At IREX, Paxini Technology showcased two humanoid robots, Tora-1 and Tora-11, focusing not on show demonstrations, but on real capabilities in tactile interaction and adaptive control. Amid dozens of humanoids that simply walk or pose for cameras, Paxini's robots stood out by demonstrating object manipulation in conditions close to real-world scenarios. Tora-1 was designed for precise handling, showcasing work with soft and deformable objects where exact control of grip force is critical. These capabilities open the door for humanoids in service, food processing, retail, and other tasks where conventional industrial robots are too coarse. Tora Double One, in turn, is positioned as a more versatile humanoid, emphasizing mobility, stability, and operation in unstructured environments. The robot is capable of moving through real spaces, corridors, rooms with obstacles, and uneven surfaces, while performing a wide range of tasks, including logistics and service assistance. Japanese tech giant Kawasaki drew attention not only with its industrial robots, but also with its futuristic concept Robot Corleo, a four-legged mobile robot that combines the characteristics of a machine and a living creature. 
This concept was first shown in 2025 at major international events and became one of the most talked about exhibits due to its unusual design and technological concept. Corleo is not a classic humanoid or industrial automaton, but a four-legged transport robot of the future, blending machine and animal traits. The concept was developed by Kawasaki, with a focus on new forms of personal mobility and stable movement over rough terrain. The robot is equipped with four articulated legs ending in rubber hooves, providing reliable traction on a variety of surfaces, from grass and rocks to loose soil. This design allows Corleo not only to move, but also to adapt flexibly to complex terrain, absorbing shocks and maintaining stability. Pudu Robotics debuted its new generation four-legged robot dog, Pudu D5, an autonomous platform designed not for indoor service tasks, but for demanding industrial and outdoor environments. The robot is equipped with multiple cameras, with a 120 degrees field of view, and a dual lighter system that creates a dense 3D map of the surrounding space for precise navigation and obstacle avoidance. One of the key features of the D5 is its ability to autonomously navigate vast areas. The system can build maps and orient itself across sites up to 1 million square meters, and its operational range on a single charge reaches up to 14 kilometers, making it suitable for logistics, infrastructure inspection, and large industrial complexes. Hyundai Motor Group unveiled its new autonomous mobile robotic platform, MOB-ED, which is officially moving out of concept and preparing for mass production. This development represents Hyundai's first large-scale mobile robotic platform designed for real-world applications in logistics, delivery, service, and other scenarios requiring autonomous movement and interaction with the environment. MOB-ED is a compact four-wheeled robot equipped with an advanced AI-based autonomous navigation system. The robot can independently plan routes, avoid obstacles, and orient itself in the surrounding space thanks to a combination of LIDARs, cameras, and perception algorithms. One of MOB-ED's key features is an eccentric body positioning mechanism that allows real-time adjustment of the platform's height and tilt. The Japanese startup Tsubame Industries showcased one of the most impressive mecha robots of modern times, Archax, which looks like it stepped straight out of a science fiction movie. This massive robot stands about 4.5 meters tall and weighs around 3.5 tons, truly astonishing with its scale and control concept. Archax is not just a static exhibit, it is a piloted robot. Inside its body is a cockpit where a human operator can control the machine using joysticks, pedals, and screens, receiving visual feedback from cameras mounted on the robot. This method of control creates a sense of unity between human and machine, as if you are not just controlling it, but living inside your own mechanical exoskeleton. At the exhibition, the Shanghai-based company Agibot drew attention as one of the most prominent representatives of the Chinese School of Humanoid Robotics, showcasing its vision for the future of human-like machines. One of Agibot's most famous robots is the A2 model, which set a Guinness World Record by traveling over 106 kilometers without stopping, demonstrating a high level of autonomy, stability, and navigation algorithms. At IREX, Agibot used the venue to present its robotic platforms designed for interaction with people and operation in real-world scenarios, ranging from service and logistics to industrial tasks. One of the most memorable booths was presented by a Japanese-Chinese team demonstrating technology that transfers human movements to a physical robot using motion capture and teleoperation. The demonstration revolved around a robot that replicated the operator's movements in real time. A person wearing a special suit or sensors moved, and the robot synchronously copied every action. This technology is developed by Noitom Robotics, known for its motion capture and teleoperation solutions. They integrate their mocap systems into robotic platforms, 
teaching robots human movements and allowing them to be controlled like an avatar. Thanks to these solutions, the robot could easily understand what the person was doing and reproduce the same movements, from steps and bends to more subtle manipulations. At the exhibition, one of the most unusual and memorable demonstrations was a chess game where the robot moved pieces shaped like beer bottles. Behind this was the Japanese company Muscle Corporation, which showcased its lightweight cable-driven robot operating without massive robotic arms. Instead of a traditional manipulator, the system used taut cables to precisely position the gripper over the desired bottle. The robot carefully lowered, grabbed the object, lifted it, and moved it to the correct square on the chessboard. This design allows for highly precise movements without the bulky mechanics typical of conventional industrial robots. Write in the comments what you liked the most after watching this video. Subscribe to the Karo Show channel so you don't miss the next episodes. Bye for now!